Hello and welcome to the latest installment of the Harmonic Dunu series. Today we're going to hit Sorsone, a mask dance from Western Guinea, from the Baga people of Western Guinea. Um, let's get right into it. It's a ternary rhythm and um, there's a like a shuffle bell for the kinkany here, but the kinkany plays before the beat. So keep that in mind and don't let it throw you off, but it's one of the funkiest parts of the rhythm, I think, which is really cool, especially in this harmonic style, so we keep that going. You'll see what I mean. The break played on the hand drum, djembe or other. <laughs> That's the three drum version. There are a lot of different versions. As usual with this series, we could contrast for a while with uh, so-called ballet dunu arrangements, um, which were are more linear and are, I always say, super cool, super powerful, better for playing really fast. Um, but the idea here is the uh, stacking of the rhythms, kind of the way the traditional ones are set up. Um, of course, that never approaches th three good players playing together, um, but it's an idea, and it's what we like to do here. Um, so what's really cool about this one is the continual um, kinkany part before the beat. I think it just gives such a super cool groove, um, which you can approximate by yourself, um, put on your drum set, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but it's just, I'm going to play it some more and um, I just love the way the melody goes if your drums are tuned nicely. And it's just one of the 10,000 examples of the African genius, the way these rhythms fit together and just make this beautiful texture for dancing and singing. And we just got to love it. Um. <coughs> so let's do it again. And then we'll get into the break phrase, OK? <coughs>
speed it up a little. Good practice for your triple strokes. Of course, if you're going to go really fast for a long time, you'll probably want to learn a uh, ballet version, a linear one. Um, and there are several. Um, so next, I think is really important with this rhythm is to get into the break because there's a there's a classic break or there's several versions of it that go with the dance. So whatever uh, particular choreography the person who's leading the dance wants to do, the break might be different. Um, so the two really common ones are to take this uh, three pulse figure, which you'll find is super like a foundation of the Dunu part for this rhythm. Um, it's also in Abaqua from Cuba, from Congo via Cuba. Um, it's in a lot of different breaks from different African musics. Um, so it's this three pulse phrase here against the four pulse I'll play on my foot. It sounds like this. Sometimes it just goes for one beat cycle, bar, if you don't mind that terminology. So it would go. I think one that is a little more common, or and, and it, it's nice. Again, it depends what your dancer wants to do. Um, but does that cycle one time and then has a kind of a, it's, I'm going to call it the six pulse, for those of you who don't, don't like theory, excuse me, but it's there. So what that is, and I said it was on the um, song bomb bell as well, you're basically playing two and three against the main four pulse of the rhythm. So like the two and three twice, so like this. Right, pass the butter, pass the butter. So that's going to be the end of the group break phrase that goes with the dance. So in that case, we have... last thing I want to put in this is probably ending up a long video but um, is that you can do that break and keep that kinkany going which I think is pretty cool now uh, traditionally all three of these might do the the break together but with the kinkany still going it's a good practice for you and it, and, it, and I think it sounds really good for a performance situation so see what you think <coughs>
Thanks for watching and um, enjoy. Likes, comments, all that stuff. Thanks. Bye.